had a thing selected. Okay, so I hope oh, this one is the one. This one. I hope I can remove them. These other uh, console or testing one. Remember the global scope variables. In this case, a student's array is one thing you define. Could be anywhere, not necessary always to take on the top. Because global spare, uh, I mean, de globally defined variable could be anywhere within the script tag. So uh, it could be at the end also, it doesn't mean it won't be recognized. Global space is already always taking a pre precedence, so the interpreter will always find the global uh, globally specified variables and will have them in memory. Functions only when those things gets called and after that the function starts working okay, so, but as a matter of convention we keep the code clean so we just keep it on the top so this example we have already seen the prepare table will prepare the table uh, whenever a new item gets added and of course it has an iteration option so through the iteration it uh, also add additional uh, cells or maybe rows as it get populated. If you remember uh, this particular uh, view is based off the array called students array. So based on the content size of an array the UI is getting populated. So I am going to do a small changes. First one I need to add a edit and delete button so that that particular operation could be uh, added to our UI. Let me add two more cells. Say action, some name. So I'm going to add one more cell. This is where we are inserting, right? Fourth row. <coughs> Remember the inner HTML not only uh, used for defining a single data type object to be casted over it, it could be it can take a valid HTML code. So what I am going to do, I feel single quote will be useful, I am going to put a button, so an edit button will be added. there is a button for edit so I added a HTML code put HTML code added a button over there. Uh, I may also need one more button in HTML break is an additional line will come to an additional line and I am going to put one more button for delete okay to make it better we'll keep the buttons into a specific size so that the all buttons follow the same I have a my style CSS the button button I'm going to give a fixed width not bad so the user can either go ahead and clicking edit will repopulate the data here again and he can go ahead and edit the content and by clicking delete the particular row will get deleted from the content so we have added an additional option to our table 
if you feel this is slightly redundant you can add one more cell for edit and delete so that will even look much cleaner but i feel uh, as you decide so i don't want to force if this is a good design or bad design it's up to you okay so now the add option works so let us verify anything messed up it works so no problem so each cell has its exclusive edit and delete button which will make sure the specific action could be triggered for one particular row alone so clicking this delete will make sure this particular row alone gets deleted and clicking edit will make sure the data will get will be brought back to a form again so user will make a necessary change in and again click register will the content get updated straight away there. okay see a button mean I, I may need an action to be triggered for the button. Uh, remember we also have insert row, we also have a delete row also or uh, remove row. So that will also will work if at all you are using a specific row to be removed. Uh, if required we can see that. Be well versed to write the HTML code even though there is no suggestion available. On click for a button is going to call a JavaScript function. Okay, this sounds like an existing table. I may need an index of an item which is getting deleted. So I will get the instance of the table. Remove or delete, you see. particular index item could be deleted that particular method should be I need an index okay I'm going to need an index I'm going to change the code slightly see remember the code changes as I need Since the prepare table change, I need to change wherever the prepare table is coming. Uh, this is not good, but okay. Here I can add an index. Index is nothing but the i, the value. Time being, I don't use a register option because it need an index. But uh, for verification whether the delete works, it's not working. I think it is delete row. Let me see. Insert row, delete row. Okay, it works. Ah, this is what an unexpected result. It deleted some uh, mean. For this table, the first row is nothing but the header, the second row, the subsequent value. So maybe the index what I am populating should be slightly adjusted to suit the particular row could be deleted. But that is going to produce major flaws. The point here is, if I try to make it, This perfectly deleted, but now it will have a problem because the index should be rearranged so that because as of now, uh, for this index would be 
uh, one zero after one, but there is no index for z. I mean one in this case only zero exists. So there is a considerable design flaw in my coding. So I there is time to change my code logic. So that's the reason I was stressing the need of whenever changes happen to your data type, make sure it also reflect in your UI as well. To overcome this issue, I may have to do a couple of other fixes. First point, I'm going to give an ID to a table body because I want to separate the rows which is getting added. So I don't want to insert the row generically or maybe give the job to a DOM itself to identify where it should be inserted. But I'm going to tell, so I'm going to say table rows here I have to insert any rows to this particular T body, not anywhere. So first part, we need to make sure instead of here, it gets inserted to a specific table body. Okay. I want to verify in that case. So no problem still worked second when first time the table gets loaded I want to empty the table even though the very first time the table is going to be empty but still I want to make sure first whatever rows are there clear it off freshly add the content from that array so this will also won't make any difference so far fine whenever a new item gets added instead of adding the item to a specific row I'm going to call in it again as we know in it will go through the array and will recreate your table rows it is like like a refresh so I am not specifically going to call the prepare table cell prepare table cell will be called only in init where the table will be prepared based on the array contents this time everything works perfect I can go ahead and delete and no problem in fact it only I remove from the UI but I am not removing from the yeah, local storage as well as the, uh, the array so that part also I need to do so that the thing the delete also would get persisted to, for that to achieve Uh, first point students sorry this is where we are deleting so splice <laughs> go to the index delete one item one element so update the local storage So this is what we do everywhere whenever and finally call in it again. So this will not only remove the item from the UI, will also update the students array with the removal of one item. <coughs> Subsequently it will also update the local storage and finally recreate the table. Now if I refresh content permanently deleted and it is no more. A new content gets added. This content will be deleted. 
in every instance the index is readjusted and always keep the latest index based on the item which is getting populated and the delete now works perfectly and it is also updating to a local storage only thing we need to work is right now an edit edit I'll work after the break because already I've taken your time oh, that's all even though it's a small part but uh, we have to do some other changes in the DOM as well so or shall I continue? Need a break or shall I continue? Break. Take a break.